Hello, guys, and welcome back. Let's talk about crypto. Let's talk about Bitcoin and then Ethereum, as well as some stock plays on Coinbase, as well as Mara. The last thing I will be going over is going to be the CPI, which is a catalyst for Bitcoin on Wednesday and what to expect for CPI and what exactly CPI is. Now, let's go over here and let's start off with Bitcoin. Bitcoin daily, we have a massive head and shoulder. So we have a left shoulder over here and then we're going to be having a head and then as well as a right shoulder. So we're going to be putting out our right shoulder over here. So this is a bearish pattern for Bitcoin. And more interestingly enough, it is also you know, being seen in the weekly. So if it's bigger on the time frame, that means it's going to be pulling off a stronger push. Now let's take a look at the daily and it is a bearish pattern, but again, nothing is 100%. For example, if we take a look back at Bitcoin back in around March 2021 of last year, we had had a head and shoulder. But the reason why I'm more bearish on this head and shoulders is because we have a support to go down to. Now, for example, over here, you know, back in 2021, we had a head and shoulder, but we really did not have a support to go down to because this was a major, major level of support. You know, going down below, we just had some bear flags going around over here. So the thing is, with a head and shoulder as of right now, we have a support to pull back down to. That is why this head and shoulder is more bearish than the one before on Bitcoin. And this is very, very important to watch because that 40,000 levels is what we need to watch. Okay, that 40,000 level bulls need to hold this level. And this is our crucial demand zone where buyers are buying up the dip. So bulls need to hold this level. Now, what happens if we close below that level? So this is a very, very important level for Bitcoin. And as you guys can see, you know, we got off some very, very strong wicks. This wick indicates of how strong of a support that is. Now, taking a look at the Bitcoin, we also have another support down below around 3000. Now, keep in mind, all of these mental supports are very nice. We had the 40,000. Now we have the 30,000 mental number. So that is going to be our major, major level. This is where I will personally be buying into Bitcoin as well as Ethereum. And as you guys can see, this is our main level of support, which I do think we can fall to because of this head and shoulder breakout. So Bitcoin is looking very, very bearish, but a lot of things to watch for Bitcoin. And I'll be going back to Bitcoin, but let's talk about Ethereum first. Now, Ethereum is a little bit different. We don't actually have a head and shoulder right now. It's actually forming one as of right now. So let's take a look at Ethereum. We have that left shoulder. We have a head, but we're not having a right shoulder yet. So for Ethereum, it kind of looks like we're just going to be falling, you know, over the weekends at this level. So this is our level 3000 again a mental number for Ethereum. Okay, these mental levels are very, very nice to watch in. And again, if Ethereum does hit this level, I will personally be looking to trade in and buy in Ethereum at this level, 3000. And please set a alert at this 3000 level. Now, taking a look at Ethereum, what it looks like is we're going to be falling back down and actually hoping for a rise up, a bounce off the support for possibly another head and shoulder. This is what really makes sense to me off of Ethereum. So it isn't, you know, you know, it's going to be hitting that support very, very soon, unlike Bitcoin, which is already at that support level. So Bitcoin, we're watching that 40,000 level and Ethereum, we're watching that 30,000, 3,000 level to go down on. Now a stock play, a share play, I'm taking a look at is Coinbase. Now Coinbase actually looks even better because we're trading at this demand zone and we're trading in a channel. So we have a nice demand zone where we keep, uh, you know, bouncing off off our price, and then we kind of have that resistance, which is our supply zone. 
Now, let's take a look at Coinbase. Things, you know, get very, very interesting right over here for Coinbase. This is a major level of support, and this is an absolute major level of support going in for Bit uh, for Coinbase. So it is very, very important to actually watch and a potential play. Today, we actually got a nice bounce off of Coinbase. But the reason that I'm watching this level is because if we break this level, we can go down a lot lower. And that is literally going to be the low, you know, the lowest point the stock has ever gone to. So this is going to be a very, very important play on Coinbase. I'm looking to set some alerts and I'm looking at a potential play for even puts on Coinbase. If we close below this level, I will be looking to take puts on Coinbase. Now, things get even more interesting on Mara Marathon. I've played Mara a lot before, you know, both of these symmetrical triangles. Now, taking a look at Mara, we have two gaps down below. We have one gap around, you know, 27. So we should be getting, you know, puts below 27, price target 24. Then we have another gap down below under $24. So gaps are even nicer to play since they're going to be, you know, quick in and out. But both of these gaps are looking very, very nice on Mara. Now, another interesting, you know, the catalyst I want to talk about is CPI. So you guys can go to investing.com slash economic calendar and on Wednesday we have CPI data now what CPI data is it tracks like these 400 goods you know every single month from last year and what we can see is have you know those prices of goods gone up and that really gives us evidence of inflation now inflation is really really good for Bitcoin so on Wednesday what I'm watching is you know before market open so the CPI is going to be announcing as a market open, what will the number be? Anything about 6.8% is going to be very, very good for Bitcoin. And that might actually put in a effect for Bitcoin, which we can actually bounce off of this level. Now, how would I get the CPI data? Well, just go um, on CNBC.com on Wednesday market open and just refresh this site at market open. It will be um, on the news, right? Um, you know, like, like over here. So overall, very, very simple video with this news. Things are getting very, very interesting. Again, we just don't know if it's going to be good news or bad news. And once the number comes out, anything about 6.8% is going to be very, very good for Bitcoin. And overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video. The main thing that I'm watching is Coinbase. This is my favorite setup right now. And definitely these tickers are going to be on my watch list going into next week. So overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you guys do want to support me, I'm going to be uploading the Amazon video tomorrow, a very, very in-depth, highly edited video. So overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys tomorrow at Market Open on Friday. Bye-bye.